Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Let's go ahead and get to our reading. I will pull an oracle card and go from there. If you've never been to my channel before, I do not take jumpers. I wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are in the order that they need to be in. And while bad things do sometimes happen, I will always try to find a positive outcome. I do apologize for the lateness of this video today. Um, I know I've been trying to get them out much earlier, but yesterday, a uh, grandbaby tried to come into the world early, and she was born at 7.32 last night. Six pounds, ten ounces. Caroline Esther is now in the world, happy and healthy. So, my apologies. I'll see if, um, my apologies. I'll see if I can't post a picture of her, though. Let's go ahead and get to our reading. angelic assistance angel messages observe your inner knowing and ask for support you know that last part is so true we can observe our inner knowing but we really do sometimes have to reach out to ask for support and I know it can be hard but please reach out to those that you know that know you and ask for support and let them help you okay just keep trusting the process and know that everything's gonna be okay you just keep reaching out the way you know how to and do it a little bit more every day. Reach out to me too. Comments. You can write it in the comments. You can reach out to me at healingwithsimune at gmail.com. Yeah, Caroline Esther. I'll see if I can't get her picture up somehow within my video so you can see her. It was a very long day. She ended up being in an emergency C-section. Rebel, free spirit. Well, that's what I want for my granddaughter, to have that free spirit, to know that she's loved. I want that for all my children, though, all of them. I want that for all the angelic beings in the world, too. All those angelic beings that have been suppressed through spiritual oppression, hatred, and meanness, or any type of narcissism. I want them all to rise up and shine their light so bright that all the meanness and negativity has no choice but to go away. Let's go ahead and get our earth magic card. Sometimes it takes a rebellious spirit to stand up and say, no, we will not do these things this way anymore. We are changing. Yeah, it can be hard sometimes, right? But it's okay. Let your freak flag fly. Be the rebel spirit that you are. Let it shine for the whole world to see. Fuck them. Shine your light so bright. Push back all the shadows and negativity. And just let it shine for all eternity. Strength. Mountains. You know, my strength comes from my faith and my father's love for me. And the earth beneath my feet. To provide all that I need and to give me all that I am inside that's good and true. That's where my strength comes from. Where does your strength come from? When you look inside and you have a problem, what gives you the strength to rise up? What gives me the strength to rise up underneath all that or in spite of all that I've been through is knowing that I am divinely loved. I am a being of light. I am truly cherished by the divine in my father's world. And I wish to light it up for all eternity so everybody knows just how much they're loved and provide that strength from the divine. And I do wish to go back throughout the generations and right the wrongs that were caused from lack of knowing or lack of understanding against those who wish to practice malicious animal magnetism. It's a whole thing. I wish to help people to stand up under it. Um, get back your life from mental manipulation. Get back your life from spiritual oppression and rise up against the malignant antagonistic communal narcissist. We are children of the divine and we deserve so much more than we have allowed ourselves to, to have. And I say no more. It's time to rise up, shine our lights, 
and shine it so bright that all the shadows get pushed back and we step into the future that is supposed to be here now. The future that was taken from us when we all live as one, all angelic beings. Push the shadow back. Let's go ahead and get a high vibe card. Yeah. We're going to push them all back. I don't want any more shadows. Yes, frequency. We are raising. We are our power centers. Yeah, they're going for it. I know. You know, they just keep throwing these cards out. They're like, wait, we got something to say. There is an opening and it's definitely calling us to come home. So we need to take it. We're going to go through all the generations and we're going to heal the master DNA of the universe. And we're going to bring light to every shadow that there is. We're going to heal this world and we're going to go home. Period. You just tell everybody you know. Every angelic being you see inside of somebody that has dimmed their light. You reach in and pull it out. And let them shine. Yes. Blossoming. Expanding. We are. We're expanding our consciousness every day. We truly are. And just remember the gentleness of life. Okay? The gentleness of life. We don't want to do it with anger. We can breathe a little fire from time to time to know that what's right within our heart. But the gentleness of life, all of it, it is a there is a balance, a, a delicate balance within life. And I believe the shadow has overtaken the light and we need to push it back and know that our family is safe. They are, but we need to keep pushing forward. Okay. We truly do. And we need to keep speaking our truth. We do. We need to keep speaking it and just know with the spirit of the earth. Um, through quiet meditation and self-reflection, if you will, to allow that dragon God to guide us, to breathe a little fire when we may need to, to push those shadows back and just illuminate them with all the light and love of the universe as we show true gratitude for all that we are within the light, all that we are. We're even thankful for our shadows that show us the light but they're not allowed to stay here anymore. We're thankful they've been here, but it's time for them to go away. And remember, the possibilities are endless. This infinite possibilities when you live for the divine and walk within this, this new 5D existence, if you will, where you can see and feel and hear and tap into that collective consciousness for the answers that you need. And just remember to continue to raise your vibration. Allow your frequencies to change. Allow them to rise up to where you need to be. And remember to bring them lower when you need to reach out to others. And just remember, it's all about the heart awakening. It is. Yeah, the next card. I know they're pulling it. I'm going to get to it. The heart awakening in all of us. In all angelic beings all of us no matter where you come from all angelic beings to wake up and shine their light all of us we are going to stand so tall and we are going to blossom so much and we truly are going to listen to the light body guide we are and we are going to stand tall and we are going to be true and we are going to allow our hearts to expand into the infinite love of the divine and of this universe galaxy if you will and we're never ever looking back we can reach down and we can help those with the light that we have to enable their angelic being to come out and shine
and shine so bright as we feed that divine spark with love and light, we can. We can make them all rise up and shine as we push back the shadows. All right, let's go ahead and get our healing energy for the day. Yeah, we're going to be okay. We just need to keep spreading the news and shining our light. The news that we're all allowed to shine. We don't have to live in the shadows anymore. We are allowed to shine so bright, as bright as we want to shine. And push back all the oppressors and all the shadows. They don't matter anymore. Our light matters. Truly, our light matters. Our light shines within them too. They just forgot and we need to wake it back up. So you shine your light in front of everyone and don't you worry about it. All right, let's go ahead and get our healing focus. We just let it shine. We don't dim our lights anymore. Manifestation of light. I see the beauty in me. I grow and develop my inner self in harmony with light and beauty. I free myself from negativity. My heart transforms. My intellect shines and my inner light grows. And that's what we want for everybody. We want everybody's inner light, the angelic being inside to rise up and say, no more. We are children of the divine. We are children of light. And we wish to go home to our new world, if you will, to where it's all light and the shadows don't exist. They are not prevalent there. Love and light is. And there's nothing wrong with wanting that. Just remember, it is a choice. You can either choose to let your light shine or choose not to. You can. It's a choice. We all have a choice. But is there really a choice when you hurt every day? When you wake up sad or you feel the darkness encroaching or that depression or that sadness inside? That's not a choice we want. The choice we want is to stand up and smile and allow the divine's love to consume us, to help lift us up and stand tall knowing that we are children of the divine. Choice. I choose serenity, light, and positive energy. No matter what I go through, I choose happiness. I rise above fear and direct my thoughts to God. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to rise up and we are going to direct our thoughts to God, to the divine to the light within everybody. And we are gonna see the true inner beauty, the true reality of love through words unspoken, if you will, a poem that I wrote when I first woke up in 1987, 1988. The true reality of love through words unspoken. Inner beauty. I open the eyes of my heart and direct my gaze to the light within every being. Personal, personality and physical appearance are in the image of man. Beauty and goodness are in the image of God. Do you hear me? I'll say it one more time, okay? We're gonna read it one more time. Inner beauty. I open the eyes of my heart and direct my gaze to the light within every being. Personality and physical appearance are in the image of man. Beauty and goodness are in the image of God. Beauty and goodness, that's right. That angelic being inside of you, let it shine. Just let it envelop your entire being, entire being, just, just let it go and realize me. I allow serenity to reign in me. The love I have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being. I listen to, 
honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. And what is the needs of our soul? Well, I'll tell you, if you ask me, is to allow the divine being of light within us to shine and no longer be suppressed. Stand up. Erase the shadows from our life. Stand up. Rise tall in our Father's love and our Mother's love. Rise up and believe in creation. I have the power to direct my life. With a constructive attitude, I create what is best for my soul. I firmly believe I can transform and improve my inner and outer worlds by turning every thought into affirmative action. I act in the image of God and bring light into my life. And we do. We trust the universe. We trust the divine. We expand our consciousness and let go of those limiting beliefs. We stand up tall and proud knowing that we're children of the divine and that all of our needs will be taken care of. We are allowed to let our light shine. And nobody, nobody has the right to dim it or suppress it, okay? Nobody has the right to do that. All right, yeah, I know. I get really out there sometimes. It's okay. Um, let's go ahead and get our moon card. I do so because I wish to reach the divine light in every being, every being, so that they can hear a voice of love and comfort coming from within. It's okay. I might be a fucking lunatic, but I'll tell you what. I am going to rise up and take no shit anymore. And I hope you do it with me. And we are going to let our lights shine everywhere. People are allowed to believe what they want. They just need to strive to the light. The answers you need are coming. They are. I promise you they are. Um, we do have that full moon coming up, right? I have a full moon coming up this Saturday, I want to say. Um, yeah, I think it's this Saturday. We have a full moon coming up. It is um, going to be glorious, right? I can't wait. Um, I'll put a video out on it later. Um, just remember the full moon is a time to recharge, to set your crystals out, and to recharge your heart and soul. I believe the new moon is coming, the full moon is coming into Pisces, but